What's up everybody? It's Neil here with Gadget Hacks. So Google made some pretty big headlines with the announcement of their new Photos application. What's different now is that they're allowing for unlimited storage for high quality images up to 60 megapixels and 1080p videos and all of this is free. So as a iOS user I'm definitely jumping on this as I can essentially back up all of my pictures in one easy place. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and show you how to import images from different sources like Facebook, Instagram, your Dropbox, Flickr, and even iCloud into Google Photos. Alright, so we're here on the Google Photos website. Now, unfortunately, it's not as easy as just hitting the upload button unless you have your iCloud and Dropbox account synced to your computer. If you do, then go ahead and skip some of the steps I'm going to show you if you have those accounts and you want to start with that. As you can just hit this upload option and select your iCloud drive and then just upload directly from there. Let's start with Facebook since most of our lives are chronicled in Facebook. Let's go ahead and show you how to get all your images. And no, we're not going to go one by one right clicking and saving to our device. You're just going to go into your general settings and down here, you'll see download a copy of your Facebook data. This will provide you with all the media you've shared and posted on Facebook that includes images and videos. Now, this does not include images that you've been tagged in by other people. Once you click on this, you'll get an email that will forward you to a different link and then you'll have to verify your password, which is for privacy reasons. Now, once you do that, it'll start downloading the zip of all your media. So let's just go ahead and show you real quick. Once you do that, it will start downloading. As you can see right here, it's pretty quick. You'll get a zip. And then I'm just going to leave that in my downloads folder for right now. There's a little glimpse of it right there. So Instagram is a little bit of a pain in the ass as they don't have an option like Facebook does. But there is an easy way to do this. All you have to do is go to downgram. I think that's what it's called, .com. And from here, you're just gonna enter your Instagram credentials. Once you do, you'll be presented with the option of selecting all your images or just selecting one by one like this. Now we're not gonna go one by one, well I'm not at least, and I'm gonna select all. But just be aware, as you can see right here, it says 40 images when I select all. I have a lot more than 40 images, so go all the way down you just hit load more. You may have to do this a couple of times if you have a lot of pictures. So let's not do that many right now. So I'll just go down there and I'll keep loading more until I get all of them if that's what you want. I'm just going to go ahead and select a few and then I'll just click download zip. Dropbox is a little different as it doesn't provide a download option. Well, at least not right away. To do this, you'll just select the images you want. Again, you can go one by one or just select them all. Once you do, hit the share option. Now from here, you're not going to enter anyone's name or email address. You're going to hit get a link. The link is automatically saved to your clipboard and just paste it and open it up. And from here, you'll now be presented with the download option, which will provide you again with a zip. Although a lot of people don't use Flickr, maybe you have in the past and you have some old nostalgic photos you want to preserve, this is pretty easy. All you're going to do is highlight the ones you want, again like we've done before, and Flickr is pretty good about this. Once you do highlight them, you have the download option presented to you right away. And then you can just go ahead and download the zip. For all the iOS users out there using iCloud, it's pretty simple. Just go to iCloud.com. Once you're signed in and you access your photos, click Select Photos. And from here, you can go ahead. Oh, there's no highlight option. You have to go one by one selecting them. Now, I'm not going to do too many, and you'll see why right now. I'm just going to do, just do two right now. You're going to hit the Download option. Now, what's bad about, well, not technically bad, but just kind of a bummer about the iCloud option is that when you do hit download, it doesn't provide you with a zip. It starts downloading each individual picture. Now again, that's why I mentioned using this option. If you go to the drive, or sorry, when you go to Google Photos, if you do have iCloud Drive synced up with your computer or Dropbox, you can just select these options directly from here and upload them directly to Google Photos. 
When you're ready to upload them onto the Google Photos application, just have the page open. This is just one of the easier ways. You can just navigate to this folder if you want to, but I'm just gonna open it up. Let's do my Instagram. You're gonna open it up and just select your pictures and then just drag and drop them directly onto the web service. And then it'll upload them and then you can enjoy them all from this awesome new Google Photos application. Now, if you wanna get the pictures off of your phone, like your iPhone or your Android phone, all you have to do is install the application on there and it'll sync all your photos along with all the photos you've already imported into this awesome application. So that's pretty much it. Let us know if there's other services you wanna find out how to get your pictures from. But again, this is a really good service you should take advantage of. I mean, you really don't have to worry about your photos being deleted on accident or God forbid you lose your phone. You still have all your pictures in one place and then you can get them all back on your phone if you just install the application. So definitely take advantage. Again, it's free, high quality, and it's unlimited. So as many pictures and videos as you can store in here. So definitely check out the full guide over at gadgetx.com if you want more details. Also, don't forget to like, comment and please hit that subscribe button for more awesome gadget hack videos thanks guys